Chapter 3 Centum, Centum and Difference. Many of the major themes of Derrida's thought emerge in his 1968 paper on di di Difference. In this chapter, I will provide a reading of this paper and the related writings and will compare Derrida's notion of, notions of Difference the tra Trace and Cora with comparable Kabbalistic notions, including Simtum, Contraction, Einsof, Infinite, and Din, Distinction and Judgment. And in the process, I hope to both deepen our understanding of these Kabbalistic symbols and their relation to contemporary theology. In order to gain insight into the relationship between Derrida's ideas and the Lyrianic metaphors, a considerable foundation must be laid, laid regarding both the Kabbalistic doctrine of Tzimtzum and Derrida's notion of difference. Only then difference, relation to and difference from Tzimtzum and other Kabbalistic symbols can be adequately appreciated. The doctrine, the doctrine of Tzimtzum. In the Lurianic Kabbalah, the doctrine of Tzimtzum he gives, a, an, gives expression to the view that the fundamental act of creation is a negative one, a withdrawal, contraction and concealment of the divine presence. The concept or symbol of Tzimtzum is clearest in the writings of the disciples of Isaac Luria. However, earlier Kabbalists anticipated the basic idea. For example, Nachmanides, Rabbi Moses ben Nachman, held that the divine wisdom, Chokma, was created as a result of the Tzimtzum, or contraction of the divine light, or will in the highest Sephira. The Tsuar anticipated the notion of Tzimtzum in its doctrine that the light of Ein Tzof is manifest only when it is hidden and concealed like a seed, and Moses Cordovero, Isaac Luria's older contemporary in Safed, developed the theory of Tzimtzum, but fully paralleled and in all likelihood influenced Luria's later views. Cordovero held that the Sephirot, the archetypes of creation, were formed as a result of a concealment of the infinite God. For Cord Cordovero, Cord creation is a, sim a simple or perspective on this concealment, and revelation and concealment exists in coincidentia, Oppositorum. Revealing is, is the cause of concealment and concealment is the cause of revealing. For Isaac Luria and his and his disciple, disciples, most not, notably Joseph Ibn Tabul and Kaim Vital, the doctrine of Tzimtzum came to be viewed as the central act of creation. Luria followed Cordovero in appealing to Tzimtzum as a principle that would allow allow God to create a finite world, world without adding anything to his substance. According to Luria and Tzimtzum, Einsof contracts to make room for the world. And, and it is, in effect, the diminution of the divine light that constitutes the world's finite reality and provides for the possibilities of distinction that compromise the cosmos. Indeed, the Lurianists understood the Tzimtzum as a, as a manifestation or catharsis of din, judgment. judgment. The, character, the characteristic within Aitsov that produces distinctions and differences. Luria referred to the possibilities of distinction within the universe as Kelim, vessels. The vessels are compared to, to curtains that filter and party conceal the infinite divine light, thereby producing the various manifestations of a finite world. Today we can we can gain insight into into Tzimtzum by viewing it as analogous to the interpretation interposition of a photographic slide, which selectively filters the spectrum of the projector's pure white light thereby creating a de detailed and multifarious image of world, quotes. The Kabbalists regarded the Tzimtzum, along with their other theosophic theosophical symbols and concepts, as purely metaphorical ideas that should be understood as appeasements to the ear and aids to the understanding. 
Above all, they held that the Tsimtsum should not be understood in physical or temporal terms. Indeed, since God or Einsof does not in himself exist within space and time, he cannot contract himself physically or temporally. Rather, it is through God's metaphysical contraction and concealment that space, time and matter come into existence. Indeed, the distances of space and time and the opacities of material bodies are fundamental limitations on human knowledge and endeavor, and it, and it thus stands to reason that the Tsimtsum, as a limitation of no, on knowledge, should result in these limiting categories. In, contra in contracting itself via the Tsimtsum, Einsof limits its and our knowledge and power, creating a perspective on being that amounts to the spatio-temporal and material framework of our world. Schur Zalman of Liadi, the first Lubavitcher Rebbe, provided a ling linguistic interpretation of Tsimtsum, according to which Einsof contracts and invests its life force in the holy, that is, that comprises the so-called ten utterances of creation, verses in the book of Genesis through which God is said to create the world through his speech. According to the altar Rebbe, the world is created through the combination of letters by substitutions and transpositions of the letters themselves and their numerical values and equivalents. This combination of letters and the variations achieved via gematria results not only in names and meanings, but the very existence of the objects named. According to Shur Salman, God's revelation through divine speech is, the, is an act of Tsimtsu, a limitation of the divine essence. Letters and words function to limit the divine thought to some specific content and are therefore held to be equivalent to the vessels that structure the archetypes of creation, the Sephirot. Difference. The notion that language is the vehicle of Tsimtsu and is the origin of plurality and difference brings the Lurianic theory of creation close to Derrida's notion of difference. Derrida introduced the word difference as a pivotal term in his critique of the representational theory of language. The theory, theory that words gain their significance, significance through a direct association with experiences or things. Derrida appeals to the view of the Swiss linguist Ferdinand de Saussure, who held that in language there are only differences. For Saussure, sounds, words and concepts do not attach, in quotes, themselves directly to their supposed reference, but rather derive their significance as a result of their differences from other sounds, words and concepts in linguistic systems, in a listen, concepts in a linguistic system. Derrida adopts the term difference to refer to what, to what which enables phonemes and ultimately words to be distinguished from one another. He creates a difference in the spelling of his term difference by substituting an A for an E in difference. In such a manner that this difference in spelling cannot be heard in French speech and can thus only be discerned graphically. This is fitting because, as Derrida himself puts it, quote, the difference which establishes phonemes and lets them be heard, heard remains in and of itself inaudible in every sense of the, world, of the word. Derrida, ask whether, asks, Derrida asks whether in considering difference, difference we must we must not then be permitted to refer to an order which no longer belongs to sensibility. He adds that in addition to being non-sensible, difference is also non-conceptible, and as much as concepts themselves are already assume a differentiation, differentiation on the basis of sensible names. It is important to attain a basic understanding of why Derrida following Saussure holds that it is the system of differences, as opposed to a direct relationship between language and the world that is the source of linguistic significance. The idea that Derrida argues against is, in many ways, the intuitive one, and being freed from its grasp, 
is an important step in understanding not only Derrida, but also much of the philosophy of the past century, as well as certain basic concepts in Jewish, Jewish mysticism. mysticism. Suppose that one attempted to forge a language by attaching, attaching words, think of them as written labels to objects in the environment. One might, one might invent the word NREX and place it on a rabbit belt. What does NREX in quotes mean and how do we know its meaning? Does it mean rabbit, rabbit, belt, dead, the color of the belt's fur, the act of labeling, the notion of reference, etc.? How would we come? How would we come to know the, the words meaning except by using other words and locating NREX within a system of differences that distinguishes it from other terms? Other terms. Similar considerations prompted Saussure and Derrida to adopt the notion that the meaning of a linguistic term is determined by its place in an entire language and not through a direct connection with objects in a pre-linguisticized pre world, world. Not through a direct connection with objects, in quotes, in a pre-linguisticized world. Any effort to name things directly will run up against the obstacle of having to disambiguate what one is labeling via an appeal and regress to an indefinite series of other words. In isolating the notion of difference, Derrida believes that he has found an order that resists one of the founding oppositions of philosophy, the opposition between the insensible, between the sensible and the intelligible says that he cannot expose difference, he cannot tell or show us what it is, because unlike sensible and intelligible things, difference cannot be made present, it cannot be placed before us as an experience. Difference makes possible the very gesture or, or presentation of being present, but it can, but itself can never be presented, and telling us that difference is what makes possible the presentation of being present he crosses out the is in quotes to indicate that this is just a pointer for our understanding and that difference certainly cannot be said to have any being in quotes for derrida difference uh, quote exceeds the order of truth but it is not itself a, a something in quotes